Non-weight bearing assessment of the first MPJ is a popular open kinetic chain patient assessment. The first MPJ is formed by the head of the metatarsal and base of the proximal phalanx and allows for dorsiflexion and plantar flexion of the hallux in the sagittal plane, some adduction and abduction, and primarily dorsiflexion during gait. Non-weight bearing assessment of the first MPJ involves range of motion assessment of available dorsiflexion and plantar flexion with comparison to normal values or to the patient's required values. These values may differ for the patient to be pain-free with optimal function. Results are assessed for signs of impingement, sagittal plane block, as classified as hallux rigidus or hallux limitus. The quality of motion assessment of the feel of the joint through its range, presence of pain or crepitus, restriction or hypermobility, and assessment of end range feel, soft versus hard, for sagittal plane blockage if present. Symmetry of motion, assessment, and bilateral comparison to identify any asymmetry of function. Clinical test is best performed prone for joint visualisation. The first ray orientation influences the first MPJ range of motion, with plantar flexion increasing the range, while dorsiflexion decreases the range. Comparison to normal published values is common. Non-weight bearing passive joint results are combined with active joint assessments, functional tests including the JAX test, and gait observations, as the first MPJ plays an important role in the wingless mechanism and propulsion. Management options are dependent on symptoms, Type of block, including hallux rigidus, hallux limitus, or ha functional hallux limitus, and treatment directed testing, and may include physical therapies, footwear choice, prefabricated, or custom orthotics. For more information on Dollar Orthotics, visit dollarorthotics.com, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or follow us on Instagram or Facebook.